Hi everybody, my name is Zach Rosette and in this video I'm going to teach you how to self-publish your own book using Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned when I published my own book called Underwear Mountain which you can now find on Amazon and I'll include a link in the description below if you want to check it out and I think it would be really fun if everybody who publishes their book shared their link to their book in the comments below. I think it would be really awesome if everybody got to kind of check each other's books out. Alright, let's go ahead and let's go over the steps that I'm going to cover in this video. Step one is you need to figure out what story you want to tell. Step two is outline and write your book on Google Slides. Step three, you're going to write descriptions of the illustrations on each page. Step four, you'll then hire an illustrator on Upwork or Fiverr.com. And finally, step five, you're going to take those files that you get from your illustrator and you're going to submit them to Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing and you're going to self-publish your book. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the first step, which is figure out what story you want to tell. The truth is, is that most people I talk to already have some story in mind when they become interested in publishing a book. So I won't cover how to write a book in this video, but if you're looking for some free advice, the one bit of advice I would give is to start with the moral of your story and try to build your story around the moral you're trying to get across. Then let your imagination do the rest. All right, let's move on to step two, which is outline and write your book on Google Slides. Okay, so if you want to do it yourself, you can go to Google Slides, and this is the main dashboard that it'll take you to, and you can go ahead and start off with a blank document. But I'm going to include a link in the description of the video with a template that you can use that has about 50 pages already done for you. So you can go ahead and just download my Google Slides document, uh, and you don't have to start from scratch. So basically what I did is I outlined the book in Google Slides. I started off with the title, the page here, uh, the information about the book. Um, I did not have my ISBN number when I first started. Uh, that is given to you when you uh, submit your book to Kindle Direct Publishing. They'll give you an ISBN number and then you can give it to your illustrator and they'll put it into your book. Um, I did my dedication here and then uh, I went ahead and I wrote out my book on each page and I numbered the pages here to keep it straight um, and then one thing you want to avoid is that you don't want to have your text go across the entire bottom like this. You want to do each page. Um, this was a mistake that I made because I forgot about the crease in the book. So that when you do this, you want to just make sure that you keep it like this on each page. And uh, I think I've got like 25 slides here all the way up to page 46. I'll go ahead and I'll give you up to page 50. One thing to keep in mind is if you really want to do a hard cover of your book and that's really, really important to you, then with Kindle Direct publishing you have to have at least 75 pages or more uh, to be able to do a hardcover edition if it's less than 75 pages it's always paperback so one thing to keep in mind as you're doing this but go ahead download this template and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step now which is putting in the illustration descriptions up on each page as well <laughs> Okay, so once you've got your book written out, now it's time to envision what you want this book to look like and describe the illustrations that you would like your illustrator to make. So what I did is I just have a little, some basic text here on each page describing what I want the illustration to look like. So I'll give you a quick example here. I have one page where it reads, maybe it was because the leg was shaped like a big old pair of boxers. And uh, for my description, I have a single page illustration bird's eye view of the lake revealing its boxer shape. I don't really know if that's the greatest description, but my illustrator got the gist and was able to make our, the page perfectly, and it came out wonderfully. So. Um, and I will go ahead and I'll recommend my illustrator as well if you'd like to work with her. I'll, get, I'll include her, her information in the description of this video. Um, so you can go ahead and uh, talk with her and if you'd like to work with her as well. There's also tons of other illustrators too. So um, don't feel like you have to necessarily go with mine. So for illustration 21, um, show the animals reaching into the suitcases and pulling out the underwear from the bags. Show, show the boys sleeping in the, their sleeping bags. One big illustration. Okay, taken out of context, this this sounds just like absolutely ridiculous. But trust me, in in the book, it makes perfect sense and it's hilarious. Um, but. 
Yeah, so this would be an illustration that takes up two pages. And so if you'd like to do that, you'll, you can go ahead and do that. I'll throw a couple of these options in the template as well. So I'll make sure to include uh, il like areas for uh, illustration descriptions for you. Once you've got all of your illustrations written down, let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is finding an illustrator on Upwork or Fiverr. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, awesome. This next step is a ton of fun. So you're gonna wanna go to fiverr.com or upwork.com and you're gonna wanna find your illustrator. Make sure when you're spelling Fiverr, it's with two R's, which is a little tricky. So what you'll do is you'll go to Fiverr and you'll search children's book illustration, children's storybook illustration, something like that, picture book illustration, you know, something along those lines. You can kind of mess around and get different results. And then you can just get a ton of people here who are all super, super talented, really great illustrators. And I would just go through, check these out, see which designs you like the best, and then contact that person. Now, the thing to watch for is check out some of the prices. So, you know, let's say I like this this illustrator here you're going to want to see what it's going to cost to do a bunch of illustrations like here this one is 10 page illustration for 295 dollars which is really really fair you can see this person is really talented and you're definitely getting your money's worth with this when you're talking to illustrators make sure you're asking whether or not they've published to Kindle Direct Publishing before, if they have any experience with that, because they're going to need to do the book design part of it as well, with like the book information, the dedication, the cover, um, the trim size, and like the uh, the bleed size. They're gonna need to create like, a document for you that is going to fit perfectly on Amazon. And I'll have more information about that on the next step. One thing I would like to recommend right now be, is, is try to make your book qualify for expanded distribution. And what expanded distribution means is that booksellers, bookstores, they can buy your book from Amazon a lot cheaper, a lot more affordably, and they're usually gonna buy it in bulk. You only get about 40% of the rev share on the, on the expanded distribution, but they're usually buying in bulk, so you end up making more money anyways. Your normal uh, revenue share you get is 60% when you're selling your book on Amazon, uh, just regularly. So for example, I wanted to do premium color on white paper, so I checked and I see, okay, I, I need the, the trim size to be eight inches by 10 inches because you know that's what's going to qualify for expanded distribution so just keep that in mind now as far as is like comparing upwork versus fiverr they'll both work i would say that fiverr is a little bit more affordable usually you can find illustrators a little bit you know a little bit cheaper upwork is great for that too and you can find really talented people for extremely fair uh, rates so let's go ahead let's search picture book Illustrator on Upwork as well. And then you'll see people will have either, you know, like they'll have like hourly prices. And the nice part about uh, Upwork is you can go over here, you can say, okay, I want the hourly rate to only be $10 an hour. You know, you want to just go for the, the, the most affordable as you can, right? And you can start checking these people out. A lot of them will have you know information about work that they've done they'll have examples of their work like for here is a great example you can see these vectors uh, that this uh, woman has uh, put together in multiple pages examples of her work she's super super talented pretty much all of these people are very talented illustrators so you just want to spend some time going through them and uh, then talk to them negotiate you know look at some of the ratings look at some of their success rates uh, look at their hourly rate and uh, ask them if they've published to kindle direct publishing before if they've had any experience with working with customers who are doing that because that's going to go a long way that means they're going to know exactly what documents uh, to give you, what sizes, and they'll be able to create like a .mobi file, which allows you to put your book on like in its like electronic format basically like on kindles that's my recommendation for finding an illustrator just go searching through start the conversation with them and i'm sure it'll go well 
One important thing to note is when you're talking to a potential illustrator, make sure you negotiate for getting all of the vector files delivered once the project is done. That way you have all of the graphics and if you need to make small changes and things like that, you should be able to. You can see here my conversation with Kimberly. She started with uh, sketches, which was really, really great. Um, Kimberly is just uh, amazing. Since my characters were based on real people, she asked me to give a couple reference photos, which I recommend as well too. If you're going to, if your characters are based off of real people, then it's good to have a couple reference photos. Once you find um, your illustrator, you also want to talk about what your budget is a month, and you can you can say, okay, I only want you to spend, you know, like five hours a week. Uh, you know, doing the illustrations. That would mean they, you know, if you're hiring somebody for $10 an hour, they're working for five hours a week, that's $50 a week, that's 200 a month, which, it, you know, most people can can kind of handle that. You know, it, it can get a little bit expensive, but you don't, it doesn't have to be. You can say, hey, look, I can only really afford to do three hours a week on it. And then once they hit that three hours, then they stop and they'll come back to it next week. I ended up asking her to do, I think like up to 50 15 hours a week. So at $10 an hour, that ended up being 150 a week and 600 a month. It ended up going for about five and a half months total. And then I gave a, a nice tip at the end uh, to thank her for all the amazing work that she did. For my book, and I think there was like 20 something illustrations at least, the whole thing ended up costing me $3,250. And that's with the, the tip I gave. And it took about five months. Just so that you have kind of like a rough estimate about how long this might take you and how much it might cost uh, depending on how many illustrations that you're having done and how many pages your book is now we're going to move on to the stage where the like fast forward a couple months from now you've got your you've got your book uh, ready to go all the illustrations are done now let's move on to the last step which is actually publishing your book on Amazon Kindle direct publishing All right, so this is the final step. You have got your book already made, and now you're ready to put it on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. So what you'll do is you'll go to kdp.amazon.com, and then you'll either sign in with your Amazon account if you already have one, or you'll create an Amazon account and sign in that way. When you first go to the page, this is the dashboard. You're gonna just see a create button. You won't have anything on your bookshelf. And so you can see what it looks like here with a book already on, on the bookshelf. But let me kind of walk you through like what you'll have to do when you're uh, to like complete the steps to actually submit it. So you'll click the create button and it'll uh, it'll take you to where I'm going to show you. But I'm going to actually show it to you already filled out. So I'm going to do edit paperback details. And so what you'll do is that you have to finish these three sections and then you're and then you're able to just submit your book and you're ready to go. So you'll choose your language. You'll put in your book title and a subtitle if option, uh, as optional. I did not put a subtitle in. Uh, if it's a part of a series, you can add the series. Um, I did an edition number. I just did uh, one, but I'm going to do a second edition here pretty soon. Uh, as far as contributors, for me, I'm the author, so I go ahead and put myself as an author. And then I put another author who helped me out with this book and also an uh, Kimberly Martinez as the illustrator. You'll add a description of your book, which is what it will be shown on the Amazon page. So I just did like a little kind of like a teaser uh, description. Uh, you'll want to do the publishing rights and say that you own the copyright and hold necessary pub publishing rights. Um, same thing here, you want to do uh, add keywords. Um, next is you'll need to choose your category. This can be a little bit confusing because there's so many options and you can see all these categories here. There's fiction, nonfiction, comics and graphic novels and then it just and then it like expands to a bunch of other different categories. So you'll find you'll just have to kind of go through all those categories and figure out which one works for you. And if it has adult content, then you'll put yes that it has adult content, otherwise no. Um, next, we're gonna go to the paperback. We're gonna just continue without saving. This is the content. So first, 
you're they're going to assign you a KDP ISBN number. So you'll uh, you can use your own or here what you can do is you ask for uh, Amazon to assign you a free one and so you'll press the button and then it will automatically create an ISBN number for you and generate it for you and then give that ISBN number to your illustrator so that they can add it. Um, I set the publication date. I chose premium color interior with white. You've got some other uh, options here as well. Um, and let's see here for trim size i ended up going with 8.5 uh, times 10 but i for but i made a mistake and i should have done uh, 8 uh, by 10 because remember here on the expanded distribution i needed 8 inches by 10 inches so i am now through going through the process of fixing that and i'm asking kimberly i hired her again uh, to redo the trim size and you can select your trim size right here bleed um, I I was told to go ahead and include the bleed and then I chose a glossy uh, paperback cover I uploaded the manuscript which is the revised text and I have this really handy I have this thing off to the side here this was uh, some directions written by Kimberly that she handed to me uh, to make this process a lot easier. I'll go ahead and I'll include it for you as well. And then I uploaded a cover using that, uh, the file that she gave me. Uh, you launch the book previewer. It's going to preview your book and it's going to check to make sure that everything fits correctly. Now, if something is wrong, if there's anything that's off at all, if you didn't set the settings correctly, there's going to be, there's going to be some errors here listed. And then you just need to solve those errors. Uh, I'm just going to exit for right now and then it goes ahead and it summarizes it for you so uh, 52 pages you can you can see all your stats here okay so that's the paperback content page next is the rights and pricing so last this is the last page I'm uh, I decided to go with all territories I chose the primary marketplace is amazon.com you also have these other options like if you're in the UK um, you can go ahead and choose amazon.co.uk next is choosing the price for your book if you qualify for ex expanded distribution you can go ahead and check this box but unfortunately I cannot because I don't have the right trim size so you can adjust your your pricing so let's say I did 20.99 Okay, it's going to redo the numbers and now I'm going to be making $8.10 per copy. What I actually charge is $15.99 and so I make $5.10 per book. The minimum you can do is $7.48, at least for my book. And then you can also adjust the prices here um, for all the other Amazon stores in the different marketplaces. You gotta go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. Uh, I think by just clicking the publishing button, you, that means you automatically accept it. If you wanna request a, a proof, you can. But otherwise, at this point, you can go ahead and just publish, and it's it's awesome. It, it, they end up getting back to you right away. It's like usually takes like w less than three days. I think I published it at night, and it was live the next morning. And then you can start seeing your uh, reports. You can start seeing like reports on your sales as soon as you start selling it. So let's take a look at my orders. I just recently published, so this month I've sold 36 copies. Copies. and you can see you know each day how many I've sold and then uh, total let's go to lifetime you can see so far uh, since I started I started in October um, I have sold 32 then 28 and then 36 and so I've had 96 orders I'm almost getting to a hundred orders on Amazon and then you can also go to the royalties estimator so you can see that this month I made a uh, hundred and eighty three dollars I'm just getting started and I only make five dollars per book so the the main the main dream here is to just publish your own book if you're really in it for the money then that's totally understandable but um, you're gonna probably want to ch charge more for your book and 
and you know be more aggressive about your marketing and stuff you can also see lifetime here with like all the books I've sold through October um, November and so far in December I've almost made $500 and the way the royalties uh, happen is you get paid I think like every like three months so it takes it takes a little while for the money to actually come in I haven't actually gotten paid yet but when I do I'll get whatever I make um, up until the last day of December so anyways that's it I'm going to that's it at this point you've you can you've created your book and you've published it and you've submitted it and uh, after this once Amazon approves it it's live and you can go ahead and share it with people and uh, and and start you know getting it into the hands of people and buy and you can also buy your own author's copies so let me show you that real fast too so one important thing that I learned is that um, like let's say you want to get a couple copies to sell to some of the local stores around around you right and, and so that you can like go and see your book and you can just like you know have people selling your book so what you'll do is you click on these three dots and you go to order author copies and then you can do like you know put in your uh, your quantity so I might do like maybe I'll buy 40 to start off with and then I'll choose to go through amazon.com what you can see here is that it's going to the total cost is going to be about 180 bucks or 179.60 and that is because each book is four dollars and 49 cents now keep in mind before for Amazon to print the book and send it out and stuff and all that it costs like seven dollars at least or seven like 50 or something like that but here you can order authors copies for a quite a bit cheaper so what I'm doing right now is I'm I'm getting the books mailed to me and it ends up coming out with like after shipping and taxes and stuff ends up coming out to about five dollars per book and then I charge uh, businesses about um, ten dollars per copy, and then they're able to sell it for um, either fifteen or sixteen dollars in their store. So that means that um, Amazon gets five dollars, I get five dollars, and the business that sells the book they end up either getting five or six dollars as well. So uh, that's it. I'm going to include all of the important information. Every single resource that you've seen in this video is going to be in the, in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was really really useful and I really can't wait to see all the books that you publish with it and it, uh, please again post your link to your book in the comments below so that we can all check each other's books out and if you uh, really like this video please give me a like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions leave it in the comments below all right thank you so much